Hi everyone, this is Miss Scarlet Tanager here with my second vlog. Anyway, I just got back from PAX and it means you're gonna get some PAX stuff. Went to lots of panels. I got to meet Hironobu Sakaguchi, which you'll see the fruits of that in a bit. I met Markiplier, who I have never seen a video of, <laughs> and I didn't know who he was really. I met Wade, who I am a fan of, Lord Minion 777 I met D-Live, also a fan of his. I met Antoine, who I didn't really know, but I think I might subscribe to his channel now. Chilled and Tesh, I met those as well, and I met Molly, Wade's girlfriend, and she's awesome. I met the whole team of, or at least all the team of Bioware that was there. Bunch of them, some of the Mass Effect people, a bunch of the Dragon Age people, and I mostly hung out in their booth in my hot costume. I might show you a couple pictures of those if I can find them. I don't have a lot myself. Now, on to the swag, because I know that's what you're all here for. Starting off, pictures! Posters! Signed by all, or at least most of, the Extra Credits people. Signed by two of the devs of Mass Effect, including one that was very, very put out he didn't get to see my Garnet costume, despite the fact I went to the panel room to show him the costume and he wasn't there. Last, one of the last things that got signed, this is my Champion's War Staff for my Hawk costume. It has been signed by one of the voice actors and a bunch of the writers and devs of Dragon Age, including Inquisition 1 and 2. This is now worth something. It's not going in my closet with the rest of the cosplay stuff. And now the very last thing that I got signed. This, for those who know my cosplays, is my Final Fantasy IX Garnet to the Alexandros Alexander Crystal. It has been signed by Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy. One of them, at least. I got a couple beta codes. One is for this game named Tome for a free guardian. I have no idea what this game is. I might check it out. Nas got beta codes. I don't think my computer can actually handle it, but I'll try it. You might see it on a stream coming near you. Last but certainly not least, the one I am most excited for, Dragon Keep beta code. I'm going to play the ever-loving hell out of this. Along with playing a lot more Dragon Age and Dragon Age 2, now that Inquisition's coming out in November, you're gonna be seeing a lot of Dragon Age from me. Now for all the extra credit swag I got. I got cards of each of the writers and voices and artists and all of the people associated with extra credits. Which was pretty awesome. They are amazing people. Buttons! So many buttons! Most of them are extra credit stuff, but they're buttons! A dice, since I signed up for Extra Life. The pin for that's actually over with my actual patch, PAX badges. But it's a D6 with a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but a little Extra Life sign in the place of the... 6? I think that's a 6. And I got a couple jelly bracelets for different things like Gamers Outreach and ReadyUpLive.com. I actually didn't go to see any of the League of Legends stuff, which is weird. I just kept getting pulled elsewhere. I meant to go there, but never got around to it. This is a sticker for Hironobu Sakaguchi's new game, Terra Battle. It's free on mobile, and I'm definitely going to play that, though. I'm not entirely sure if I'd be able to record it for anything. Mostly because I have no idea how to record from my mobile phone. Gonna look into that, though. For those days, I feel like getting drunk. Not only one, but two. Granted, one of these is for my sister, one of these is for me, but that's not the point. Skyrim shot glasses. And now for what I'm sure you all have been waiting for, Dragon Age swag. Start off the Dragon Age swag. I have a Dragon Age pendant. They are the Chantry symbol, and I have not only one, not two, but three of them. And you know what that means? Earrings and a necklace. The Mabari plushie with a little Mabari crunch. This is the variant one. Apparently, they only made 400 of these in the world. It's a limited run of the green Mabari coloring. And I got one for cosplaying. And it was awesome! It was PAX, therefore, I would have had to have gone a t shirt. This is the only t shirt I got at PAX, even though they were pretty much throwing them at us. This is the Era Shock Dragon Age t shirt. Now, I have a story to tell you all. The day was yesterday, Monday, September 1st. I was wandering into the Bioware base. I sat down in the front with my staff, all giddy after my night of studying. They began the trivia contest. The first question, what were five of the gods of the elven pantheon? Everyone was rushing to Google because nobody knew the answer. My fingers were going over my phone as quick as they possibly could. My hands shot up in the air and they called on me. 
I named five of them off of the wiki, and I got my prize. Three Dragon Age Inquisition themed computer items. Firstly, a mic, mouse, a wireless gaming mouse with the Dragon Age Inquisition stuff all over it. It is by Logitech, as the other two items are as well. This is a Dragon Age Inquisition headset with a microphone, also by Logitech, also very pretty looking. And last but certainly not least, a keyboard. You can't see it here like you can with the other two, but it is a Dragon Age Inquisition keyboard. It has a nice little covering for it right about here on the keyboard. The WASD keys are silver, and the arrow keys are silver, just to help us gamers out. Also by Logitech, also has, let's see here, 110 key anti ghosting, 26 key rollover, game desktop mode, dedicated media controls, and blah 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 blah. That was the swag from PAX. And now I have a story for you all. I spent most of my t packs in the Bioware base, not in all of the panels that I had listed that I wanted to go to. I just kept getting sucked in by the Dragon Age, by the Dragon Age Inquisition, by the Mass Effect, and it was amazing. PAX 2014 was definitely a success between the Bioware base and the extra credits and all of the games and all the stuff I played and the Far Cry demo was actually pretty good. It was just probably my favorite event this year. Definitely going back this year, I next year. Definitely going back next year. I recommend it to everybody. And that's all. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this has been my second vlog. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and all, and subscribe, and all of those things under the video. See all of you later. It's a Mabari plushie.